Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Saira Marlene. I am ready. Okay, thank you.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Yesenia Lisette is um, with her pets. Yesenia. Hi, teacher. Today we, we met your pets. Hoy conocimos a su mascota. El gato. Yes. <laughs> Make Dijo, no está, aprovecho de presentarme en la cámara. Siempre me hace lo mismo, solo que estaba por atrás. <laughs> Pensé que no había empezado. <laughs> Wendy Maribel, Wendy Maribel is there too. Yes, <clears throat> Hello. Anna Lilian. Hello, teacher. Aquí estoy. How are you? How are you? Francis está dormida, Francis. No, yet, teacher. Ah, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not yet. Está comiendo. Ah. No, llegando vengo. Ahorita estoy abriendo la puerta. Todavía no. Será. Francis Solo... han dado creída todo el módulo, no se deja ver. No, 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 no. Es que el teléfono no le sirve la cámara, mire. No, le está, no, le está. no, yo desde aquí la vi cuando lo tapó con el Sí, es el viejo truco. Anda de creída ahora, no se deja no, ver ella. Sí. Porque mire, ve. sí es. A saber qué tiene. No, ya, 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 le, ya le van a dar el, el nuevo. <ríe> Ay, Dios. Teacher. Hello. I, I watch uh, in, in the new uh, American, uh, American man. Ah, okay. He, he says, my headphone don't work. Is correct. My headphone don't work. Mm. Se le habían ah. arruinado. Se sí. le habían arruinado los, los headphones. Pero no, no dijo que se le habían arruinado, sino que dice, my, my headphone don't work. Yeah, it could, could, be, could be in that way too. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Even I, I can say my computer is not working now. My computer is dead and it is right. Mm. Mi computadora está muerta, that means it's not working. Mm. 
different way. We have different way how to say something, and all that that are, had to do with the level that we are going to use it. And also, and if you see in some uh, malls, if you want to go to the bathroom and you say, and you see the sign out of order, out of order, where is the vicio? Okay, teacher. Porque también dice, dice algo que no entendí de my headphone is computer fuck. Ah, ok. Pero eso es bueno que se ponga a, a oír o a ver las noticias así para poder aprender más cosas. No, no eran noticias. Le dije las noticias, pero no, no eran noticias. Es que no sé cómo decir. Usted así no, me en dijo. En las redes sociales, en las redes sociales. Ah, en las social media. Ok. Mm -hmm. Aquí hay, hay que tener, uh, we need to be careful because... Uh, there are a lot of things. Hay tantas cosas en las redes sociales que hay que tener sumo cuidado para, mm. saber, para saber lo que es real, porque he visto varias cosas referentes a inglés que ahí salen diciendo que cómo se dice tal cosa y salen diciendo otras. Entonces, es enamorado, es enamorado de Francis. ¿Mm? No, gringo de... <risa> no, es... no, mire, ya ah. quisiera, <risa> ya quisiera, créame que ya quisiera, pero... Oh, Francis is engaged with an American. No, teacher, es que lo que pasa es que yo descargué una aplicación que se llama Hello Talk ah. para practicar el inglés porque me la recomendaron. Sí. Allí hay... Miles o cientos de personas aprendiendo otros idiomas y, y hasta hay como, así como usted que nos manda una sesión para practicar con el compañero, así hay también como, hasta como de 15 minutos. Hay dos sí. cosas malas ahí. La primera es que hay gente que usted les, les enseña el español nativo y practica con ellos el español nativo, pero a la hora que usted quiere que le enseñen el inglés o practicar el inglés, ellos ya no tienen tiempo. Ah. Es, eso es uno. Y el segundo, este, conocí a, a, esta, a esta persona porque me, me mandaron para el inglés, ¿verdad? Pero al final este, no era la persona, sino que eran fotos de ese gringo. Y, y este... Cuando, y, y me pedían dinero, casi como un, un estafador, cuando yo puse el nombre de él, la suerte que yo tuve que el apellido sí era la del propio gringo, gringo, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando puse el nombre de él en Google para ver si era algún, alguna persona, algún prófugo o algo, di con las redes sociales del propio gringo, que es este que le digo, y este... Y él tiene videos y cosas así donde le han robado, donde él dice, ¿verdad? Porque es un militar de, de Estados Unidos que le han robado sus fotos, sus videos, sus cuentas y piden dinero y así. Así fue como yo vi y ahora me he quedado oyéndolo por los videos que él sube en TikTok. Pero como ya, ya es un inglés bien avanzado y a veces veo sus videos, pero... A veces no hay tiempo, pero así fue como yo di, yo di con esa con esa cuenta. Se convirtió en su seguidora. <ríe> Por eso no entraba al mundo pasado casi a las clases. Mira, sí, <ríe> al momento de la clase se pone a ver TikTok. Pero también sí, aprende. Maestro <ríe> privado. Tiene Mire, un pero privado y es militar. Hasta la iban a estafar ahí y ella bien contenta porque era <ríe> No, fíjense que no lo, no lo sigo, pero, pero sí veo los videos a veces, pero no lo sigo. Sí tiene un montón de gente, ¿verdad? Que quizás las mujeres lo, lo han de seguir por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Porque son, son personas engañadas. Pero... Mm. Casi, casi no, no me meto a, a TikTok porque 
casi no hay tiempo. Una y otra que el inglés de, de ellos es bien, bien raro, casi no, no lo entiendo. Entiendo, casi no lo entiendo al profesor, menos le voy a entender a ellos. Todo lo unen. De una yeah, gran but, but all, all depends on the level, as I, I told at the beginning, because at the moment that you got on the, on the advanced level, you are going to speak in that way too. Todo es un proceso y nosotros vamos como midiendo algunas cosas porque uh, cuando ya llega a nivel avanzado se va a dar cuenta de otros detalles que no están ahorita. Mm -hmm. that, that is the, the reason why maybe suddenly you hear that way. And for that, for that reason, sometimes I speak a little fast in order that you can get familiar with the sounds in that way. Pero algunas veces también hay que bajarle las revoluciones para que se, sea más fácil, ¿no? Pero todo depende del nivel that we are immersed of things. All depend. All depend. Yes. But you can continue watching, but not in this time. You you have to look for another time. <laughs> <laughs> not the class time, please. You can do it in, in your free time. After the class, you can stay until midnight watching TikTok. <laughs> Pero vi ese teacher que se me quedan bastantes cosas. No, pues sí, es que como el militar, you know, is, 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 is wearing uniform. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, tampoco, DJ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, no, ese era una broma. I'm sorry. Pero ya quisiera yo. <laughs> no, que okay. sabemos. We never know what can happen. No, sí. We never no, know. No, DJ, es una persona bien, bien arrogante, bien... No sé, en los pocos videos que uno ve... Nada que ver con quien le robó las fotos, claro, eh, quien le robó las fotos y los videos los, los ocupa para otra, es ot otra cosa, ¿verdad? Pero ya al ver el perfil de él es una persona bien, no sé, que se cree bastante. Mm. Y a veces, yo pienso que a veces, yo, ¿verdad? Como cada cabeza es un mundo, pienso que a veces es más importante la humildad de una persona que los estudios que ha tenido. Yes. Porque eh, este, de nada sirve que una persona llene la pared de títulos y de todo si muchas veces el comportamiento o el trato a los demás lo hace como si nunca hubiera llegado a la escuela. Uh -huh. Ok. Agree. Agree. Y tú. Okay. Um, bueno, teacher, voy a ir a buscar el pollo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pasa la tanda, por favor. Mm, that is your technique. Okay, let me see the attendance first in order to start talking about the topic for today. I know uh, sometimes uh, it's, it look like kind of different, difficult uh, when we start talking about an, a specific topic and you need to have a new vocabulary to to get the information in the right way. For the reason I've been telling you that you need to have a notebook and that way you are going to, uh, to have the, the opportunity to write down all the words that you consider that are difficult for you. But uh, it is like a kind of, uh, hard because I know that you have been working the whole day and for that reason uh, sometimes it can be a little hard for you. 
that's here we go again. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Check out the attendance now. Let me see. Oh, 17. Okay, we are going to start now. Okay, ahora nos salió platicadora. La joven. Eso quiere decir que no se había dormido hoy, pero ya se nos fue de nuevo. Okay. I am here, teacher. I am ah, here. Ah, ya regresó con el pollo. Ok. No, todavía no lo he ido a agarrar. <risa> Tiene que ser sudado porque lo va a perseguir. Ok. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Escobar. Claudia. Claudia. Oh, I can hear you. I hear you so far away. Creo que está teniendo problemas con su micrófono. José Jonathan. Present teacher. Ah, Voy okay. manejando, sorry. Okay, okay. Be careful, be careful, my friend. Be careful. Teacher present, Francis. Francis is present. Okay, is present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. No driving, okay, not driving. Laura? No driving. Laura? Present teacher, present. Maria Concepcion? Present teacher. Eh, Maria Elena? Present teacher. Mayra? Present teacher. Eh, Zaira Eliana? Zaira. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Mari. Present teacher. Ok, el resto se agrega después. Ok, let us start talking about uh, making a review. About what we talked in the last class, the previous class. I don't know if what you remember about. What do you remember about? Okay, share with me. What do you remember? What do you remember about? Recuerdan. Talking about the previous class. Advertising. Okay, what else?
Uh, we were talking about some strategies for advertising. Recorded. Okay, what else? Um, promotion of the promotion the product, for example, social media, news, newspaper, uh, um, television. Oh. Okay, we have started promotion. some method, right? Do you remember that we have started method, some method? method? Method promotion product or make. Okay. Do you remember how many methods do we started yesterday? Did, did we? Six. Ah, okay. Somebody wants to make the list of it. Who wants to make the list? Who wants to list it? List it. Hello? Tell me. The advertising, the public relation, the sales promotion, and personal selling. Okay. Okay, perfect. What else? Advertising techniques. Um, we were talking about ethos, pathos, and logos. Oh, okay. And, and I guess uh, you research something about, right? Yeah. And you got more info about it because sometimes uh, the time is not enough in order to explain exactly everything. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And maybe uh, some of you understand in your own course y algunos, eh, bueno, cada uno entendemos a nuestro propio ritmo de aprendizaje, ¿no? Maybe at the moment that I'm explaining something, you say, no, 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 I don't understand what he's talking about. But suddenly, if you research again, uh, you, you got the message. And that is the main idea. about this. Okay, let us start with it, the new topic today. It's gonna be quite easy for you because we already started a little bit. Okay, today is class 13 and we are going to talk uh, how to use enough with now. I remember that I already explained this part but we are going to make a review again. We already talked about the previous one. And I would like to start talking about uh, the use of enough because you got some exercises in the platform and you need to understand how you are going to use it. So uh, I'm going to start saying that we are going to use an as a determiner, a pronoun or an adverb. We, we can use it in different way. We use an as to mean as much as we need or want. 
And let us take a look at the at the first uh, use. We are going to use enough of the terminal. We can use enough before a noun. And for example, do you have to pay for your train fare and taxes? It's a it's kind of a question. Yes, and I'm fine. There was for about 10 people. And let, let me see something here that I, I miss a word. Hold on a second. I remember I showed you some example about this, but today we are going to clarify, even though the, the main topic is use enough with nouns, but we also are invited to, to study not only as this use. Okay, hold on a little bit because I'm saving the, the presentation. Okay, much better. Okay, uh, um, try to read it, please. And we are going to discuss it because uh, we need uh, to clarify everything. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to get it bigger. Okay, do it now. Okay. No. Okay. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it. No, it's a determinate. We can use and no before and no as determine. A, do you have and no money to pay for your train for and taxes? Todo ahí. Yeah, continue, continue. Okay. Yes, thank you, I am fine. There was enough for for about the people. Okay, in this case, we are we are seeing the use uh, uh, of enough of the terminal. And you see in the question, do you have enough money to pay for your train fare and taxes? Yes, thanks, I'm fine. Talking about, about amount, there was enough enough for, for about 10 people. Okay, uh, what, what is food and what is money? ¿Qué función realiza food y qué función realiza money? Pronombre, teacher. They are? Pronoun. We can say that it's a, it's a, they, they are nouns. They are nouns, right? Podríamos decir ellos son nombres, ¿sí? Then we are going to use the word enough before the nouns. Do you have enough money? 
there was enough food for about 10 people. But, uh, but let, let us continue seeing here. And we are going to talk about, okay, who wants to read this? Me, teacher. Okay. We use it, we use it now before other determinants, the, my, and pronouns of them. You haven't, you haven't eaten, how do you pronounce teacher? Eating. Uh, eaten, eaten, you haven't eaten. You haven't eaten enough of your dinner, Jason. There were enough of them. Okay, and, and we have two different uh, sentences here. This one, the first one is the right one. You haven't eaten enough of your dinner, Jason. Instead of said, uh, you haven't eaten enough your dinner, Jason. This is in the wrong way. For that reason, is cross it out. Por eso está tachada, porque no, no es lo correcto. And this one, there weren't enough of them. No, there weren't enough then. We need to use, uh, we need to use off. And you need to be careful about this at the moment that you are going to use it. But let us see, because, uh, okay, right here we got a prompt, enough as a prompt. We can use enough as a prompt. At the end of a meal, have you had enough? Yes, thank you. That was delicious. I need to go and get some more shares. There aren't enough here. Okay, I don't know if you can identify that, that right use. This is a conversation at the end of a, of a meal. Have you had enough? Yes, thanks. That was delicious. I need to go and get some more shares. There aren't enough here. Okay, but, but we are going to see more example about it. Because right now we are seeing it in a general way. Enough as an adverb. We use enough as an adverb of degree. Aquí lo usamos como un adverbio de grado. Are you ready for your exam? Yes. I think I studied enough. That's all I can do. I study enough. For the reason is uh, we are using in this in this way, right? But we've got a warning here. We use enough as a, an arbit directly after an adjective or directly after another adverb. For example, it is but big enough for all those books. No, it is not enough. Big. No. We need to be careful about that. Strangely enough, no one seemed to notice the Boris was in his pajamas. It is was strange that no one, you know, we already started how we use it in this way that we are going to use after the the objective. But uh, right here, you can have uh, a better idea how we are going to use it. We have objective, pronoun, adverb, and also as interjections. And the meaning, when, when it's using as an objective, we are, uh, the meaning is gonna be uh, adequate or sufficient for the purpose. And also as a pronoun adequate or sufficient for the purpose. In a quantity or degree that is sufficient for a purpose or necessary to satisfy a need. 
and uh, an interjection could be used to express impassion or annoyance. But let us see what else. Okay, we got an example in, in four different ways. Who wants to read the poem? Hello? Do you have enough money to pay for your train for and taxi? We still have enough of the wine to last for a week or two. Is the box big enough for all those books? Enough? Stop finishing. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Okay. Um, but maybe, uh, oh, wait, okay. This is the main topic for, for us today. Enough plus now, but also we need to see the different uses. Okay, take a look at these two examples. If you say enough energy or enough power, what can you tell me about it? What is the function of the word energy and what is the function of, of the word power? ¿Qué son esas dos palabras? What is energy? What is power? Not the meaning. No el significado, sino la palabra energía, que es, será un verbo, será eh, un adverbio, será un nombre, que es. Now, teacher. Ah, okay. And you see how we are going to put the, 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 the word in a, it's going to be before. And here, uh, when we use it in this way, enough means sufficiently. Okay, and what I was saying is that we can use enough plus now, uh, enough come before the nouns. And we got an example, we have got enough share. We have got enough shares. Okay, based on this example, I need that you give me your own. Try to create some example using it, this structure. Okay, let us see what you have. Take a look at that. For example, I can say, it, um, I don't have enough money to buy a new car. Okay, I don't have enough money to buy a new car. Or maybe you can say in your company, we have uh, enough product in order to send to different places in the, our country and even out of this country. Okay, give me your example, please. Hello? Hello? Can I hear your example? We have an unknown time. We have enough time. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
we haven't we have not enough time to finish our campaign ah, okay okay what else i have no i have not enough food to my cats i don't have enough food to feed my cat okay food yeah yeah i i got you i got you your your meaning i don't have enough food to feed my cat no tengo suficiente alimento uh, y valga la, la en español se oye raro pero para alimentar mi gato generalmente en inglés se da bastante la redundancia if you if you see how, how do you say this uh, in Spanish ask a question what is the, the translation in Spanish ask a question Pregunta la pregunta. ¿Cómo? Pregunta la pregunta. Uh, something like that. Si lo traducimos literalmente, que casi así podría suceder, ¿no? Entonces, hay algunas cosas que en el español no, no pegan. Ask a question, pero dice, al no hacerlo literal, uh, hazle la pregunta. Okay, somebody else. I need example. I need example because in the, in the previous one, we talked about how to use the word enough with objectives, right? Do you remember? Teacher, I give enough money. I? I give enough money. Okay, you are talking in present or in past? In present. I, I, give, I give enough money in order that you buy everything that you need, okay. At the school, we have enough computers. Ah, we have enough computer. Okay, okay. What else? What else? Laura, want to say something, Laura? Jenny, too. Mario, too. Just give me a few examples. We have enough budget to buy more devices. Oh, okay. We have enough time to do, do the homework. Okay. But it is in positive or negative? Positive. Okay. We okay. have time. What about negative? We don't have enough time to do the homework. Okay, so Maria. I I don't run and on to arrive on time. I don't. I don't run and on to arrive on time. Mm. In that case, how we are using enough? Sí, 
teacher. Hello. Ah, uh, no sé si estaré correcta así. We have, we have uh, got enough money uh, to stop working. We have got enough money. Yes. Or we have saved enough money to retire to start working, okay? Okay. Okay, take a look at this. We have it in the material. But I need that you take a look of it. How to use enough with nouns. Look at the example in the box and then complete the exercise below. Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an object. It can also be used before a noun. Take, take, take into account that. The company doesn't uh, or does not have enough information about the customer to understand their needs. Take a look at this. <clears throat> the company does not have enough information. What is a noun here? Hello? What is a noun? What is a noun there? The information. information. Is the okay. Okay, what, what about the next example? We designed enough promotion to create a short term increase in sales. It's quite easy. What about the next one? This is strategy may be used to distribute enough product. This store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. And the other example said there were not enough experts to perform the task. As, as you can see right here, after the word enough, we got information that is noun, promotion, product, item, expert, and so on. Okay, now uh, let us see exercise number five. Teacher. Hello. In every single sentence, a no is previously known. Yes, it is because uh, we are following the rule. Okay. In this case, valga la aclaración, en este caso, estamos viendo cómo usarlo con nombres. But right here, we can say it is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun. Yeah, before a noun in this case. Okay, take a look at the exercise that we have here. We have only just uh, five different sentences that you need to resolve it. Complete the sentence using the information in parentheses and, and, and uh, compare your answer with classmate. Okay, try to resolve. If you don't get the material, make a screenshot, please. And start working on it.
Did you finish? Present teacher. Hello, Jonathan. sir. Okay, before we resolve the exercise, I'm going to check out the attendance again. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Present. Is there, is there, is there, Escobar is there. Eh, Claudia. Present. Francis. I am here, teacher. Okay. Okay, Jonathan. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Eliana. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Santo Misael. No no no. Present. Santo Misael is there. Okay. Ya, Jenny. Jenny. Please. Present, Present teacher. teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see where we are. I already called Santos, no. Wendy, Jenny. Present. Laura is missing, I guess. Yes, no me pension teacher. Laura is there too. Okay. Okay, Yesenia. Present teacher. And Jenny? Present teacher, I'm here. Sure, yes. And Carlos Alberto Bautista. Bautista. It's not here. And Mario Ernest. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess you already finished. We are going to see the results.
Okay, who wants to read the, the first sentence? The play strategy demands a now channel of distribution. Are you read number three? Hello? Picture number one. Yeah, yeah, I asked you for the number one. Because we need to follow an order. Please start with number one. Who wants to read number one? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was reading. The, the homework, okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. The number one is the market in the palm has and now interviewing is great. Ah, okay, be careful about that. Somebody else wants to try. In, I don't know. Because I write the marketing department has hasn't created a no interest. Ah, okay. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Okay, if you don't have it that way, so please try to fix it. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Okay, number two. Who wants to read it? Don't worry about mistakes. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Ms. Ayo. Our products offer enough features and benefits. Mm. Okay. Let me see. Our product? Um, offer. Enough features and benefits. Enough feature and benefit. Okay, somebody have in a, in a different way? No? Okay, number three. Number three, please. Number three, teacher. The place a strategy demands and no channels of distribution. Okay, bingo. Is that right? Number four. Number four, please. The play place a strategy uh, demand an off channel of distribution. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, you are talking about number? Number three, right? Okay, can you repeat it again, please? Who 
¿Podría repetirla, por favor? The place of strategy demand enough channels of distribution. Okay. Bingo. It's good. Number four. Number four. Okay. Retailers will stock enough food and sell them. Okay, bingo, Claudia. Good. Number five. Number five. We lack enough information on the competition. Okay, we lack enough information on the competition. Thing two. Number four, a uh, retailer will stock enough goods and sell them. Thanks. Okay. Repeat, please. Retailer will stock enough goods and sell them. Thank you. You're welcome. You share and oh. and second sentence is a. Uh, Esta me sale mala en la plataforma y la puse así como está all product offer and no feature and benefits. Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's, it's the same. The same problem? You got the same problem? Yes, the same problem. Yes, teacher. Okay, I, I, I was waiting. That you tell me something about that. And I remember that I told you as soon as you get some problem with an exercise. So please tell me. Because in this case, if we follow the rules that we have here, it could be in that way that you wrote it, right? But the problem is that in maybe in the platform, uh, they are not using the word enough. What they are using maybe is the word great. Or a synonym, like the, the word that I'm saying, our product offer could be our product offer uh, great feature and benefit. Maybe they, they have it in that way. Could be in that way. But you, uh, you are not using the word enough in the exercise. I don't know if you got my point. How do you spell it? How do I spell the word great? G-R-A-D-I. G-R-E-A-T. Great. D? G-R-E-A-T. Great. Maybe in that way, uh, it is a synonym. I don't know if they have it that way, but it's quite diff difficult for you to, to know because if the instruction said that you need to use enough, of course you are using enough, I got it. Okay, but you can try in that way, maybe you, you can get the result. But I'm going to, to, to send the observation about that sentence.
because uh, what I what I feel is that all of you got the same problem. Teacher, in Spanish, how do you say G? Ah. I'm writing down in the chat. Okay. Great, great. Uh -huh. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Teacher, ¿por qué se usa gray en vez de inox? O sea, como nuestros productos ofrecen grandes eh, características y beneficios, en vez de suficientes características y beneficios. Algo yeah, así, what, teacher. Yeah, what I'm saying is that maybe they got a mistake. Mm, ah, at, ok. At, at the moment, and they, and they put a synonym. Ah, ok, ok, teacher. That is not a rule that we need to, to say in that way. But maybe what, what I'm thinking is that maybe uh, there is a mistake in that sentence. Okay, teacher, thank you. The retailers will stock now. Now enough. Let me, let me check, let me check. The current, the current sentence was, is, is retail stock and now goods and sell them. It's correct? What I'm saying is this. I don't know if you got my message. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change, changing, changing. The, maybe, the maybe in, in the sentence number two, they yeah. they didn't use the word enough and they use a synonym. In that case, they use great. Our product offer. Offer great. And you can continue with the rest and try, try in that way. Okay. That makes sense in that way, but I'm not pretty sure about because uh, when we got an instruction that say use the word in parentheses and we need to follow the, the, the instruction, right? You got it? No? But else, somebody else try. Okay, I already I already got the, the, the information and I'm going to ask about this exercise because no not working that way. No, no. For example, retailers will stop a marketing department. No. I change you. No, no, no. But, but, but you are talking about number two. The number... Number two, number two. Oh, no, number two in in the in the homework or in the, in the book? No, in the exercise that we are doing right now. Ah, right now, right now. Uh, we, we already we already said here I, that I, we, I'm talking about yeah uh, you have score. I know that you are talking about the platform exercise. No, I was talking about number four. Um and the first one. And the first one too? In in, in the in the book, uh, the first one. And uh, number four. Okay, and the first one, the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. The marketing department hasn't created enough created, created enough interest. And, and, and number four, retailer with a stop will stop enough good 
and self then? Yeah. Now, the, the number of, number one, the marketing department hasn't created in the past in the the created in past created and no interest. Now enough interest. Yeah, enough interest before. Well, is the one who I take a look at that the chat. I I, I send it there. Yeah. Because somebody asked me, uh, tell me something about the number two that that, that got in the in in a, in a wrong way. Okay, you you write it in, in the correct form, a copy and paste. Um, no, this is still wrong. In past, the let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check so. No, oh, you're right. <laughs> ah, let me set the protect the stock. Okay, okay, in order to continue, and I'm going to solve the problem, uh, let us see, uh, I'm going to send you something in the WhatsApp group. Let me see where I have it, in order that we can continue working on it. Uh, let me see what it is. Okay, try to resolve this exercise. Okay, you got it there in the WhatsApp group. So please take a look of it. Take your time in order to resolve it, and then we are going to um, share the answers. And uh, I need that you tell me the number of the exercise in the platform where you are having problem in the number two. Wendy or Misael or somebody else wants to tell me the number of the exercise. Mm -hmm. 2. 2.2? 2. 2? Yeah. In the field part, the number five. I may a lot of combination, but I don't get the correct answer. Is that is the 2.11? Second part. Mm, the number two. In platform 2.11 2.11 second part the number two okay uh, i'm going to take a look of it uh but i invite you to open the the, the file that i already sent you in our whatsapp group and and try to resolve it right
Just a two point the second, the second part, number two. Our tribe of fish, oh, okay, 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 I got it. Sharing group teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take a look at it.
Oh, okay, I, I hope that you are working in the, in the quiz. And talking about number five, Scotty, uh, uh, just try to remember the order that I show you. And also in the one that you got in the material, you need to follow in that way. And you are going to use uh, commas in order to separate it. <clears throat> Okay, in order that we got enough time, uh, let me see. You are going to work in a breakout room with the help of somebody else. Compare your answer and try to help each other.
Wendy, Wendy, Anna Mariela is waiting for you. You got the invitation to go there. Uh, also, Maria Elena. Jen Jenny is waiting for you in the in the breakout room. And Claudia, Anna Beatriz is there too, waiting. And then we are, we are going to work.
Okay, let us see the, the answers that you got. Or maybe because of the time I'm going, I'm going to share the answers. And you check up there. Okay, number one, Yoni is uh, 175 centimeter tall. Uh, the shell is two meter high. The answer, uh, John Eason, what do you have? In no, sir. John Eason? In no, sir. No. Tall, tall enough. Tall enough. Okay, tall enough. Remember, what, what is the function of the word tall? ¿Qué sería tall ahí en ese caso? An adjective. Ese es un adjetivo, por lo tanto, cuando es un adjetivo, la palabra enough va a ir después del adjetivo. Okay, number two, I got uh, 80 euros. The share costs 100 euros. And the word that I got in parentheses, money, I haven't got enough money. Enough money. Por qué? Because money is a noun. Okay. Aquí sí, mire, porque aquí lo estamos viendo desde ese punto de vista. Okay, veamos la siguiente. Number three says, Mary needs to work five days a week. She only works two days a week. And the word that I got in parentheses where Mary doesn't work enough. Work enough. Ella no trabaja lo suficiente. Okay, uh, number four, you need to be very intelligent to do this job. Steve isn't very intelligent. Steve isn't intelligent enough. Intelligent enough, okay. Number five, I like the water to be uh, very warm when I go swimming. Today, the water isn't warm enough. Warm enough, okay. Solo basta con que vea la palabra que está en paréntesis y logre detectar si se trata de un adjetivo de un nombre. Y así nos hace más rentable la función. Ok, número 6. Number 6, uh, you need uh, 250 gram of sugar to make this cake. I only got 100 grams sugar. I haven't got... La palabra sugar será nombre o será adjetivo? Nombre, name, no sugar. Enough sugar, okay. Number seven, you need to swim fast to win races. You can swim very fast. You can swim? Fast enough. Okay. Why? Because the word fast is on? Adjective. Okay, number eight. I'm really busy today. I can go to the cinema. I don't have. I don't have. Enough time. Enough time to go to the cinema. Why? Because the word time is this word. I know. Yes, it is. Okay, number nine. You look tired. You should sleep more. I don't think you
I don't think you. Hello? You look tired, you should sleep more. And the word that I got in parentheses is sleep. You don't, I don't think you. Is sleep enough? Sleep enough, okay. And the last one, number 10, this village won't win the World Heritage Award is to be rich. And I got clean in parentheses. This village isn't, isn't, clean enough, clean enough, okay. Okay, thank you. Bien, creo que con ese ejercicio les queda claro, ¿no? Okay, and now try to, um, you don't need to write down anything, but try to use your uh, enough in a sentence. Try to do it. It's up to you if you want to use adjective or now. For example, I can say it. Uh, on my vacation, I don't have enough time to go to the beach. Why? Because I had a lot of things to do. Or how we can do a conversation using enough in different ways. Okay, I need to volunteer who wants to, to, to perform a conversation using the word enough in different way. Who wants to do it? Let us try to do it. And let us talk about your company maybe. You need a, a volunteer for what? Yeah, in order to create a conversation, imagine that I am waiting uh, some product of your company, Mario. And I say, okay, Mario, uh, it is possible that you send me my product tomorrow. And you say, uh, I don't think so. Because Sorry. I have no time to, to deliver your product tomorrow. Uh, okay, could be uh, enough time. Or also you can say, we don't have enough. Uh, vehicle to send it. Okay. 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 Somebody else. Somebody else want to talk about this. Okay, try to think. If you can create a conversation, yes, yes uh, try to create a, a sentence. Well, let, let me get that. Uh, I'm going to prepare the attendance at the moment that you are trying to create your own sentence.
And also, um, I can use this word with condition. For example, if you, if somebody, somebody could tell you, if you want to be a teacher, okay, how you are going to use the word enough? If you want to be a teacher, what else you can add using the word enough? I have enough uh, how to say curso, cursos. Curses? Curso, how come cursos? Yes. But but but, I, that, but there is something but there is something really 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 important if you want to be a teacher. If you want to be a if you want to be a teacher, you need to have enough experience. <laughs> okay, that is the word. Okay. But what about related with the, the companies? If you want to sell a lot of product, you need to Try to do it, try to do it. How to, uh, I, I have to have and no products. Could be. Ahí lo dejo pensando en lo que les paso la lista. Time to go to bed. Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Jonathan? Present. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas? Juan Carlos Rivas? Laura Carolina? Present teacher. Maria Concepcion? Present teacher. Maria Elena? Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Zaira Eliana. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. No, autista. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, today it is the conference number 13. Maria Elena Guadalupe is there. It's your turn for today to ask questions. Maria Elena, where, where are you? I don't see you. Ah, is there Maria Elena? Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions apart from here. Um, you need to be careful how you are going to use enough because as I told you, at the beginning, uh, we can use it in a different way, but we need to be careful because at the moment that we are going to create it, we need to see if the word that we are going to use 
is an objective or a noun and also could be another different way. Like the example that I gave you at the beginning. So somebody could say that um, I like to change my car, but I haven't got enough money. Yeah. Or you can say you can talk with uh, with somebody, a relative of you, and you can, or maybe your daughter, you say she can get married until she is old enough. Yeah. Or somebody could say, I didn't pass my exam because I didn't study hard enough. Okay. And as examples, and I told you, in Espanol, cuando encuentren un ejercicio que ustedes ya le buscaron por todos lados y no le encuentran, Eh, háganmelo saber para poder verlo y si hay un error poder eh, enviar el mensaje a las personas encargadas y que se haga la corrección. Yo, teacher, la vez pasada también le dije en la de la 1.5, la tarea 1.5, la número 5. Sí. Eh, ya la puse de diferentes formas y siempre me sale mal. Sí. No sé si será mal entonces ahí. Está hablando de... de, de... Eh, sí, que la primera. La plataforma. Yes. Okay, Tarea yo... 1.5. Sí. Eh, A mí bueno, esa igual no... también me, me, me quedó así, yo no la pude... No la pude sí, resolver. Sí, lo que no hice tal vez fue enviarles la captura de que sí, yo mandé el. O no sé si ven alguien dicho ya lo pudo, la pudo resolver o le salió bien. Es posible que sí, pero eh, lo que quiero decirles es de que cuando ustedes me hacen una observación de ese tipo. Eh, yo siempre ah, envío el reporte, pero a veces no me dan una respuesta. Pero ese sí creo que lo tengo, que sí lo mandé. En un minuto se lo muestro, por ahí se lo voy a compartir. Porque sí lo envié. Pero no, no me dieron una, una respuesta así concreta. lo envié el martes 22 ah, okay. por aquí les voy a enviar la captura porque para que vean que si sí, este le tomo asunto a lo en que la, me en la 2.11 tijera, hay una que no sale bueno al bueno, menos a mí nunca me ha vale, y, la, y supuestamente la resolvimos ahora Permítanme un segundo. Ahí se los envío, miren. Creo que ya les llegó. Ya sí. Vale, ahí está la captura donde di favor revisar las oraciones 2 y 5 de la tarea 1.5 del módulo 3 de nivel intermedio. La dos a mí me salió bien, Ticho. Sí, pero a algunos no les daba. Entonces lo hice en base a lo que me enviaron. Sí, Ticho tiene razón. La, y a mí igual, yo ya traté y la dos y la cinco es la que me da problema. No me sale. Sí, entonces. Y la, lo, dos, y la dos, once. Lo, sí, que, lo, lo que sí les quiero dejar claro es que sí. Incluso después de eso, eh, volví a hacer la pregunta. Se suponía que ya estaba solventado. 
Esto fue el día, ya les digo, día viernes. Ok, por ahí se los envío de nuevo, mire. Por ahí creo que les lo dejé. ¿Lo vieron? Sí, yes, Ah, ok. Entonces, ahí les dejo constancia de que sí les he tomado sus observaciones. Porque a veces pueden decir, no, pues él dice, pero no lo hace. Y recuérdense que en mi caso no soy el que... Tengo control sobre la plataforma. En la 211 a mí me daba problema la 1, pero eh, porque no le estaba poniendo el verbo en tercera persona. De más. Okay. ok, hay que tener sumo cuidado. En la que me preguntaron de la 4Ps, habría que ver de qué manera separan cada una de, los, de las palabras que representan cada P. Hay que tener cuidado también en eso. Eso les puede estar generando problemas. Ok, entonces quedamos en que cualquier inconveniente me lo hacen saber. Y eh, yo lo hago, lo paso y quedo a expensas de la respuesta, ¿cierto? Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have another question. No sé si no, tienen no. alguna otra consulta, pregunta. No. No. Ah, okay. No ni a Wendy está enojada, mire. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo no. Okay, entonces um Good night, I, hope to, I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. See you. Good bye night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Um, I am a busy <laughs> for um, my job tomorrow. Ah, you had something special to do tomorrow? Yes. Um, I am um, work in ONG and all this week celebrate um, week of nutrition. Okay. It is called Nutrition Week. Nutrition Week. And every single day is one activity different. Okay. And who, I don't know is who, but it's with, with child, children. Oh, with children. With children. And so you need to explain different uh, topics. Okay. With, I don't know, how do you say lúdico? <laughs> no sé cómo se dice lúdico en inglés. Lúdico. It, it is something that you need to perform in order that they can uh, understand it. Digamos, por ejemplo, cada tópico, usted lo, cada tema, usted lo tiene que trabajar como con cuentos, con títeres, con teatro. Ah, ok. Entonces a eso nosotros le decimos lúdico. No sé cómo se traduciría o, o si hay... It, it is like a, like a games. You use games in order to explain it, right? Oh, yes. Lúdico. 
Yeah. Yeah. With games. They and playing activities. Playing. Um, you, you and the teachers prepare all children uh, for explain um, about meat, about uh, milk, about vegetables. Vegetable, vegetable. Vegetable. And it's interesting, interesting but it's a manager. <laughs> okay, I, I understand. Okay, I don't know if you have any question uh, related with the topic, and, and a special topic that we have started, or, or everything is clear? Creo que tendría que practicar porque entiendo que en no eh, ahorita hemos estudiado dos, dos formas de utilizarlo como un adverbio uh, the first time uh, was like a, with an adjective adjective and now mm -hmm. but, adjective. But, but I remember uh, in the conference number 10 I explain different ways. Me nice. recuerdo que en la, en la conferencia 10, revísela, ahí hice como un esboce general de, del uso de la palabra en ad. Entonces eso le, le puede servir para que comprenda algunas cosas. Y cuando son ejercicios de que les aparece así como la palabra en paréntesis solo es de identificar si es un nombre o es un adjetivo en su defecto mm. y dependiendo si, si es adjetivo irá eh, en determinada posición si es nombre va a ir en determinada posición si es adjetivo va antes y si es nombre va después no me confundí mm. The word is, is, is previous, yes, it's correct, because I say, I don't have enough money. Yo no tengo suficiente dinero. Money. La palabra dinero es un nombre, entonces va antes. Antes. Sí, y cuando es adjetivo, va a ir después del adjetivo. Uh -huh. Ajá, quizás eso. Identificar si es no, el, la clave es identificar si es un nombre o es un adjetivo. Sí, en, vale. en, su, en su defecto, por lo, lo que hemos visto hasta el momento. Sí. Pero como le digo, ya en el camino, a, a medida avanzamos, vamos a ir viendo otros usos. Más complicado. Pero eso es como para ir como puliendo el inglés, ¿verdad? Para que no Así parezca es. Y, y suene más bonito. Así es. A medida va avanzando el nivel, tiene que ir refinando. Y hay cosas que las decía de, de cierta forma y las va cambiando, ¿sí? Eso es lo que sucede. Así es que, I don't know if you have another question. If not, I wish you the best for tomorrow with the kids and, the, and you explain everything they had to explain. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. In oh. Spanish, <laughs> <laughs> is in English, I am a problem, troubles, but in Spanish, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Uh, what you need to have is just a lot of vocabulary, and that way you are going to talk about different topics. Lo que necesitamos tener es suficiente vocabulario para poder hablar de diferentes temas y relacionar cada una de las de, de los términos, eh, porque cada tema a veces tiene términos específicos. Y eso es necesario también eh, aprender. Así como estamos ahorita aquí hablando de marketing, ahí he venido diciéndoles que vayan creando un vocabulario. Les he venido mencionando a... Uh, algunos términos como retailer, wholesales, tantas cosas que al final son las que les van a ayudar para poder eh, manejar todo esto. Pero hay que, hay que ir creando ese, ese vocabulario en la mente. 
En la mente, en el cuaderno, porque de repente uno se le olvida. Sí, pero cuando las palabras se usan eh, con más frecuencia, no se olvidan. Pero a veces, por ejemplo, uh, hay algunas palabras que a veces eh, preguntan y no es que uno no las sabe, sino que como no las usa mucho, están como allá al fondo. Y a veces lo tiene en la punta de la lengua y no aparece hasta después. Ayer hablábamos de barato y se nos había olvidado que era cheaper, es barato. ¿no? Cheaper. Ese, Ajá, sería, y... ese sería el comparativo, cheaper. Ajá. Ah, y si <ríe> quieres ser barato, de forma como es, entonces. Ah, could be cheap or low, low price. Ah, low price. Precio algo de un precio bajo, es que está cómodo. O maybe you can say not expensive. Y cuando dice no es caro, está diciendo que es barato. Barato. <risa> cheaper es si yo quisiera comparar, digamos, la leche de salud con Australian, por ejemplo. Sí, entonces usted dice Australian is cheaper than salud. Uh -huh. Y de ahí, no, pues, se, de ahí se desprende el superlativo que si encuentra entre cinco el más barato... Usted dice, this is the cheapest. Cheap. Le agrega mm. EST. Es cierto, es cierto, es cierto. Ah, pues confundí la gente. <laughs> no, no necessary, because uh, in the context we can understand about what we are talking about. Okay. Okay. Kidoki. Okay. Thank you very much to spend this time with me here and I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, bye. Bye.